Hi, Mark. Well, really nice to see you. Um, after a lot of hard work, it looks like championship football uh, is going to return this month. Yes, um, good news, uh, baby steps, but uh, it's good to see that we, we now have a provisional date uh, for championship football to return. Uh, it certainly gives us some certainty in what has been and continues to be a very uncertain world at the moment. Um, but I think it is a timely boost uh, for so many people that uh, championship football uh, is on the horizon for again a return. Yeah, baby steps, like like you say. But just how pleased are you uh, with the latest announcement? Yeah, I'm. Re listen, we're, we're really pleased. Uh, the players have been back in training, albeit social distancing and following the protocols that are in place over the last week. Um, I've been to see them train this morning. Uh, the lads look in great shape. They're eager. They're very keen to play and they're very keen to start the season. Um, but as I said, baby steps. We keep stepping through this stage by stage, following the government protocols to make sure that we get this game back on and get it on safely and in a sensible manner. But yeah, we are certainly getting traction and it looks like that we will return fairly soon. And of course, you sit on the, the EFL board. Can you shine sort of light on how we've been able to to get to this point and say that football, it is safe for football to return? I think it's been a staged process. Um, there was there was much debate and discussion about how we returned to train uh, and working with government uh, protocols were put in place uh, and those protocols are being stepped through right now. Um, and what will be the next stage is return to play protocols and what that looks like. It's very clear that we will be returning uh, to stadiums without supporters. Uh, and whilst that will be a very different world and a frustrating world for many, it's a necessity right now that we follow these protocols and we return the game safely. So yes, a lot of people involved, um, but we are really keen to get the season back on and finish the season with integrity on the pitch and in a competitive nature. Yeah, it's going to be football behind closed doors. I think we all kind of anticipate and understand the reasons for it. Um, take a bit of getting used to, I suppose, but um, I know that there are sort of plans in place to to try and make sure that fans still get to in, still get to enjoy it, even if they, they can't be there. Yeah, as I said, it's a it's a very different world that we will return to, um, and we want to make sure that supporters have the very best opportunity to see all of our games, uh, both home and away. So we're in discussions with broadcasters. Uh, we would like to obviously make sure that we stream our games via Robins TV to make sure that our fans really get as good an experience as they can on a match day. Even though they can't be here, I'm sure that Robins TV will make sure that they're here in spirit and get the opportunity to watch the game in the best possible way. We're seeing the fixtures take place successfully in Germany at the moment. Uh, I think that there's a lot we can learn uh, from them and how they've operated. Um, but we want to get the games back on and get them back on safely and as soon as we possibly can. Um, so for City, we've got five home games, four away. Um, playoffs are still very much a possibility. It's an exciting time, isn't it? It, it is. One point outside the playoffs uh, as we enter a period to, to restart. Uh, and it's all to play for. Uh, as I said, I've just been uh, I've seen the boys, um, stayed in touch with them via, via Zoom calls. Um, during the period they've been away. It was great to see them face to face this morning, albeit at a socially, uh, at socially distancing. Um, and they look in really good shape. They've, they've had their own sessions, uh, their own, tr own training regimes that have been monitored strictly by the club to follow. They've all adhered to that. Um, and I think we're, we're delighted in the physical shape that they've, they've returned. Again, there's going to be different challenges as we move forward. But again, all of our players at Bristol City are keen to play and get the season back on. And every game now must be treated like a cup final, I guess. Uh, absolutely. You know, there's no bigger prize in football. We, we, as we say, we're one point outside the playoffs, uh, nine games to go. Um, we've got teams uh, who are in that playoff spots to play. Um, so we've got every opportunity to end this season successfully on the pitch. And one thing's for sure, um, physically, the boys will be ready. They will give it everything they've got. Um, Lee is as organised and disciplined with his backroom staff as ever. He's been in contact consistently with the players whilst they've been away. Uh, and to say 
there is a keenness and an eagerness to get this underway is an understatement. The boys will be ready to go. Excellent, Marvel. Thanks for your time and um, we'll look forward to seeing you at the first game, if it is by at least two metres apart. <laughs> Pleasure. Stay safe.